Hamlet. Going on in Singapore, and my objective is to get Australia the largest share of it that I possibly can. Singapore is transforming. For the longest time, it's been a useful entrepot in a very successful small city state. But now it's becoming a hub for regional and even global business. PricewaterhouseCoopers say that it's now the second largest centre for private wealth management globally, and many strong supply chains fly through Singapore and onto the rest of the region and the world. So Singapore, uh, as a hub, has a lot to offer in terms of uh, it's very easy to get in and out of. Uh, its transportation system is, is second to none. Its telecommunication systems are second to none. Uh, it's consistently rated uh, in, in, in so many different surveys across so many uh, different measures um, in terms of its transparency, in terms of its ease of, of establishing business, in terms of its um, ease of, of ongoing operations of that business. Probably something like 4,000 multinationals run their Asia-Pacific business out of Singapore making investment decisions, making decisions about supply chains, about procurement of services, about manpower and staffing. And not only are they making major decisions about Asia, but also making major decisions about Australia there. So this is really a part of the economic ecosystem that we, we, we need to understand better.